Good morning, guys. Welcome to Saturday. It is Saturday. We got Gabby in the back. We got Sophia at home sleeping. She is turning in to a sleeping girl. She likes to sleep in on a Saturday morning, so we let her. Uh, we're going on a road trip. Where are we going, Sam? We're going for a two-hour drive. We're going on a two-hour drive to pick up another baby goat. Last time that happened, the skipper and the sailing crew got lost at sea. Okay, if you understand what he's talking about, then you're, you're old. old. <laughs> you're old like us. He's talking about Gilligan's Island. We're going on a two hour tour. And there's a show long ago on TV yeah, that- They went for a three hour tour. They went for a three hour tour and they ended up getting stranded and lived the rest of their lives, or well not the rest of their lives, but they lived on a deserted island. But anyways, that's not gonna happen to us. Why are you jinxing us like that? All right, we're headed to get Sophie's baby goat. It is her show goat, so we're super excited to get her. The best goats that we've bought so far, like uh, the best quality, are my little buck, my little buckling, and also Sophie's little goat. So we're gonna see her today. She looks totally different than all the rest of our goats. I love that. I'll show you guys her when we get her. This is- We got a deer. <laughs> yeah, she's just like a little deer. <laughs> Look at how little she is. She's almost nine pounds, but she's so tiny. She's pulled, which means she doesn't grow horns. And she has a she has adorable blue eyes. Put her down, let's see her. This is her. <laughs> she really looks like a little deer. She's adorable. Super friendly, super sweet, so tiny. So this is her. Um, she peed on me in the car already christened me. It's actually so, so tiny. Those brown spots on her are called moon spots. And she has a lot of them. She has a ton. She's so sweet though. We all love her. Sophie's gonna call her. What are you gonna call her? Yapper. Yappy. Yapper. Uh, toffee. She's gonna call her Toffee. She's a tri-color. This is brown, white, and tan. Like Winston. She's kind of like Winston. You mean in personality? Because she's oh well, she's very much like Winston she in personality. Like so she came from a set of quadruplets. That's what she's look at how wide she is in the back. All right, she's got her legs close together now, but look at that. It's so cute. She's Sophie's show goat. We love her. She's so adorable. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Get your running shoes on, Sophie. <laughs> so I think like we're gonna isolate her just because I don't know the I don't know the barn. Look at how wide her, her back is. She has a really nice back end. Her her mom has the most gorgeous udder too. We're gonna keep her separated for a little while. I really like the where she came from. Like I really like the lady that sold her to us. She raises her goats really, really carefully and she's amazing. Isolate her and keep her apart. She's really tiny. So the others are gonna be really rough with her, so I just wanna keep her protected and I wanna make sure that she's she's okay to be around them. She is so cute. Do you guys remember when I got my guy? He was just screaming at the top of his lungs. She has tattoos in both ears. So does my guy. Does you can't really see them. them. Does Cricket have them? I don't know if she should have them. See all that stuff there? What's it for? It's for her so she can show. It does say something. Um, I have it. I have a copy of it anyways. And her <laughs> tattoo number will be on her registration. So we dropped the goat off, picked Sophie up, and we are headed off to get all of our like weekly surprise, like our goat grain or chicken food. Today was one of those days that we spent in the car the whole day. We went into town to get something yummy for dinner. Every once in a while, Sam craves steak and mushrooms, and oh, I love it. I'm so excited. I want to show them what I got for her. Sophie wants to show you what she got for her room. It's a storage hammock. It's thing. a giant storage hammock. I'm it gonna... doesn't look very giant. <laughs> yeah, it does not. But, but it's fine. I'm gonna put my squishmallows on it. Just to put, she's growing up, you guys. Even on travel days, like we went to go pick up that little goat, who I love. We still have a ton of things that we have to do each day, like a lot of chores. Okay, I did my chore because I was coming down here to say But most, 
Most pressing right now though, we have to take the girls off the grass. We still don't let them be out there all day. Hi, lady. Ladybug, come here. Come on, come on. <laughs> she comes. She always comes. She's yeah. like, I'm coming. <laughs> She's, she loves me because I always go out here and I bring her to the grass and fend off all the horses. Oh no, she's so cute. Hi, sweetie. All right, go get the rest. Oh, I forgot that you meant. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she's definitely had a baby before. She's like, that was boring. See, she walks weird downhill. Like she likes Yeah, to she's she's really fun. She's, she's, she definitely moves differently than the rest of our horses. Like going downhill, she slowly picks up speed. I know, Penny's really careful going downhill too. Okay, I'm gonna grab a horse throw it in here and you're gonna have the gate like open on your leg. All right, that's the plan. You're gonna bring the horses. Yeah, but you guys have your horse Come on, Pen. Okay. Hey. Come on. Oh gosh, this is not gonna go well. Wait, me and Gabby, we're gonna go on a trail. <sighs> Sophie wants to ride every single day. We're going on a trail ride tomorrow. We were just gone all day. Yesterday, so she gets a break today. Yeah, she gets a break today. Come on, honey bear. No, her name's Honey. <laughs> I like two names honey together. Bear. Oh, she's coming. Come on. Here comes Willow, come on. Oh. Whoa, oh, geez Louise. I don't think this is gonna work. Now Ellie's in here. Ellie. I swear she thinks that she can fit. It's Ellie, Ellie. It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I got those two in. Actually, I got all of them in. Sophie got, you got one. Two. I got the second one in. Okay, because I had to walk Lady away. Oh, Gabby finally shows up. Have fun. <laughs> it was really hard. I wish somebody would take me away from the food when it's time. Put a grazing muzzle on you. I can't put a grazing muzzle on me. Yeah. They're like, are we gonna eat? They wanna eat now. They're like, okay, well we're off the grass. Now we wanna have dinner. But look at how comfortable she feels in here. Things are changing. Every time I'm outside doing stuff and we just get home, my Sam always lets Ellie outside to pee, and which is fine. But then she always comes and finds me and sometimes I'm like in the middle of something that's not safe for dogs that like to just like she gets overwhelmed that she sees me and so she's all around my feet and trying to jump up on me I was in the middle of letting those horses in and lady was right at my feet it's nerve-wracking scares the heck out of me we just got home from a drive Sam and I we went to the store and the girls are missing I have no idea where they are but I got this at a yard sale today it's just a little tiny kids picnic table and I'm hoping that the goats will love it Come on, sweet baby. She's a little nervous of the dogs. This is the part that sucks. Carrying all this stuff down to the goat barn. Today was actually just a crappy day. Come here, baby. Come here. Sometimes I get messages from people and they say like, you are gonna overburden yourself. You have too many animals. It's gonna be too much. And the truth is, it's very rarely ever too much. I feel like we have just the right amount of animals that I feel fulfilled each day. I feel busy enough each day. I like to be busy. I like to have a job every single day. But on days like today, when we're not home all day, like we were traveling all day and it just, it took us away from the farm. So when we got home, it ended up that we had all this work to do, all these things to do that we usually do when we're home. Being home makes everything so much easier. When you're away, if you had to be away all the time, then we would have too many animals. So on the rare occasion that we are away during the day, I definitely feel overwhelmed. It's just been like, since we got home, it's just been like trying to catch up constantly, try and get all the things done that I need to get done that I usually do when I'm home all day, if that makes sense. So I'm got another light. Is it? It's nice. It's big. It looks like a, oh, for color. 
It's a propeller light. Wow, it's really big. It's really nice. This is going to be our, our pig. I don't know. This might not be our pig. I don't know what we're going to do with this doll. It might be our pig stall. Beautiful. I, this. I don't have pockets. Good job, Sam. No. He only bought one light bulb like that, and we decided to put it in here because this room's so dark and so dreary. Okay, so look at this. In the wintertime, everybody was like, he's obese. He's so fat. And I was like, he he thins out in the summer. Like, he, in the winter, he just sits there because it's too Yeah, cold. in the winter, he just sits there because it's too cold. But he actually looks, well, he doesn't look that bad on camera, but in camera, he looks chubbier than he does in real life. And he's still really fluffy. Really fluffy. So we decided we're gonna put that over on this side. Um, I don't know, I feel like you should put it in here. Put it in here where it's underneath their shelter because that's where they like to run and jump. Maybe put it just over here. Somebody loves it, you guys. We came out of the barn and we had like a little welcoming party. <laughs> I'm so happy with how this horse is settling in. It's shocking, you guys. Sam got a new metal thing to make our brooder with. But look, it's fine like that. Let's just put it like kind of in the yeah, middle. We could cut this too. On the farm, you're always improvising, trying to figure out new things. So, I mean. I like it. Or it could be a shelf, <laughs> but I like it. It's literally 6.30 at night, and because we were away all day, I'm just checking the baby chickens right now. Sam looked at them this morning, said everybody was good. But I need to see for my own eyes. Uh, everybody looks good. Everybody is happy and healthy, you guys. Should we'll we, oh, turn off, now. yeah, turn off the light there. We'll leave this open now. Chickens won't go in at night if the light is on, so it has to be dark. But you know what's really weird? I keep on trying to tell you the story about our little goat chicken, and I keep getting interrupted. But the funny thing about her is that chickens don't go in until it's dark time, but, but we always put the chickens in. Sorry, I have to pick this up. <laughs> chickens always go in at dusk or when it's starting to get dark, and there's no exceptions. Like. Even if I'm like, hey, we're going out tonight for dinner. You guys have to go in before we leave. They don't go in. But that little chicken that's down, that thinks she's a goat, she got left out one night because she wouldn't come in because it wasn't dark. And then ever since then, she comes running in with the goats, just like she's a goat. It's the funniest thing. Oh, well, this is not going well. I'm gonna have Sophie write a report in school on Monday about what's happening with her little rose bush and how she can fix it. I know what she needs to do, but I'm gonna get her to figure it out and and do a report on it so she can learn about roses. Don't you know that you're